Okay, so we were discussing quadrilaterals and I said to you that uh, we will be proving the theorem one by one. Like uh, the parallelogram properties or the quality of parallelogram, what we have seen, we have seen like a... Uh, opposite sides are parallel with each other opposite sides are equal with each other diagonal uh, are bisecting each other we have also seen that uh, opposite angles are equals to each other so here what we will be doing one by one we will be proving each and every theorem okay but while proving the theorem we will be using from this five six qualities suppose we are using two three qualities and you we are going to prove the other two qualities it's like that Okay, it's not in the same question, we, we will not prove everything. We can take it's a parallelogram. First thing first, we can say it's a parallelogram. That means opposite sides are parallel and equal. And on the basis of that, we will be proving that opposite angles are equal. So few qualities we are taking in hand already we know and few qualities we are trying to prove. Similarly, we will be doing this one. I'll be showing you the uh, theorem also, which will clarify what I'm talking about. Let's start with this first theorem, the very basic theorem of the parallelogram, which says that, let me uh, open the book at first. Yeah, which says that the diagonal of a parallelogram divide it into congruent triangle. So the diagonal, when we will be drawing a parallelogram, let's draw a parallelogram. Okay, let's say this is a parallelogram. However, it doesn't look like that. Let me draw it properly. Yeah, let's say this ABCD is a parallelogram. Here we have to prove that, that the diagonal, whatever diagonal you are going to draw, be it a diagonal BD or a diagonal AC. Whatever diagonal we will be drawing over here, that diagonal will divide it in two congruent triangle. Arya, do you understand the meaning of congruent triangle? Um. Yes, like it means even if you put them over each other, it will be equal, same. Yeah. And uh, you also know all the formula, all the criteria of congruent triangle, that is side, 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 angle, side, angle, side, angle. You already know that, right? Uh, yes, mom. Okay. So, yeah, uh, here everybody understand the concept of congruency. Let's begin with that. So, we have to prove that th this diagonal, may I have taken one of the diagonal, let's say it's a diagonal BD I have taken. So, this diagonal is dividing our parallelogram in two congruent triangle that means two same triangle exactly equal in shape and size okay so we have to prove that here triangle a b b is congruent with triangle c d b let's see like uh, first thing first we can't write this as a congruency we will be writing taking this triangle and that triangle Okay, let's start with that. So here, what, what are same, exactly same, what exactly we are having the information in hand that we have to list it down. As we know, the to prove the congruency of two triangle, we need three information, at least three. So here, the first sentence only says the diagonal of a parallelogram. We will pick this word parallelogram and we will say, since we know this is a parallelogram, Obviously, here opposite side will be parallel and equals to each other. That is the quality, the very bare minimum or the basic quality of the parallelogram is side AB is parallel to side CD and AB is also equals to CD. We also know that AD is parallel to BC and 
AD is equals to BC. This is the basic quality of the parallelogram. Let's see whether we can use this while uh, whatever triangle we have taken in that. So here AB is there, there CD is there. So let's take the equality. AB is equals to CD, all right? One more thing we can see that here AD is there. In this triangle side, AD is there. And in that triangle side, BC or CB is there. So that two are also same since it's a parallelogram. Okay, so B let's write equals to DB. Yeah, AD is equals to BC. Here we will be writing because since ABCD is a parallelogram. Now, what else can be written over here? And BD, DB equal R equal equals. BD equals to DB common. Exactly. BD, DB both are common. BD, BD, whatever you want to write, write it. This is a common side. And hence, see three criteria we have written, three uh, same things we have written. Let's see which criteria is getting fulfilled. So as we can see, this is also side, this is also side, this is also side. So by side, 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 congruency rule, both the triangles are congruent with each other, right? Triangle ABD is congruent with triangle CDB. I told you in, uh, whenever I, when I was explaining about the congru congruency of triangle or when I was talking about the concept of triangle, I told you that please check the name, whether you have written the name properly or not. So the name means A, B and C, D both must be at same place in our name of the triangle. Yes, it's at the same place. Okay. The sequence we have written properly. Now A, D and B, C, A, D and B, C or C, B. It's at same place. Yes, we have written. Now the last thing, have we written it correctly? B, D, B, D. Yeah, B, D and B, D. We have written it properly at the same place. Place same sequence we have maintained for the name of the triangle. So yes, we are on the correct track. And hence, triangle ABD and triangle CTB are congruent with each other. That's what we wanted to prove that the diagonal is dividing our parallelogram in two congruent triangles, in two same triangles. All right. So this was very simple, right? Is it clear to everyone? By which criteria that to we need to mention over here by side 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 criteria. Got it? Next one. So, uh, Arya, uh, yes, quadrilaterals first topic in your account is now activated. Just check it after the class and give it. Okay. Okay, mom. And yes, Ifra, you also don't forget about informing. Okay. Next theorem says in a parallelogram, Opposite sides are equal. So what I said, we will be taking few qualities and on the basis of those qualities, we will be proving that like uh, we will be proving the other qualities. So it's a parallelogram. A, B, C, D. where we have to show that opposite sides are equal. We have to show that side AB is equals to side CD. Like show that side AB and side CD opposite sides are equal or the other opposite side that means AD and BC are equal. This is what we have to prove here. 
this is one of the quality, one of the property of the parallelogram, which we have to prove here by using what? By using the other qualities, which we are already having in hand. That's why on day one, I said to you, just go through each and every property, memorize each and every property of the quadrilateral family tree. So here we are, we have to prove this quality of parallelogram by using the other quality. Now, which other quality is going to help you to prove this one? Th that is up to us that we have to figure it out from here. So since it's a parallelogram, the basic criteria, we can say opposite side will be parallel with each other. Yes or no? Yes, ma'am. So we can say opposite side will be parallel with each other. We know that AB side must be parallel to CD side and AD side must be parallel to BC side. This quality may be, maybe it will help us to prove whatever is asking in the question that opposite sides are equal. Okay, so let's draw one of the diagonal. And since we are saying that we, we want to use that side AB and side CD are parallel with each other. This quality of the parallelogram we want to use over here. So can we say this two are parallel and this green is a transversal? Does it looks like a parallel and transversal line? Yes. It looks like that. So can we say that this angle and this angle will be pair of alternate interior angle? Can yeah. we? So we can say let's take first two triangles. So just like the previous one on the basis of the diagonal we are going to take the triangle A, B, D and triangle C, D, B. Okay. What, which, what we are getting over here we are using the quality of parallel line since it's a parallelogram. So we can say on the basis of the parallel line, we can say that angle ABD over here is equals to angle CDB over there. Why? Because AB is parallel to CD and these are pair of, or directly you can write alternate interior angle alternate interior angle only alternate interior angle also you will be writing and you are done with that okay this much uh, elaborated form you don't have to write i have written for your clearance now if the other two parallel sides are also there if side ad this yellow side and this yellow side is parallel and again there is a transversal this yellow one is a transversal. If you can see, then can I say that this angle, this glittery angle and this, this angle, both are same. Can we? Yes. Exactly. Again, alternate interior angle because we are having another pair of parallel side also. That is AD is parallel to BC. Let's write that. So angle A, D, B over here is equals to angle C, B, D over there. Again, alternate interior angle. Okay. Now what else is same in this two triangle? Anyone? D, B. B, D. Again, B, D, the common side. So BD from here is equals to BD from there. That is common side. Now, if we will look at the triangle, which, which criteria is getting fulfilled? Anyone? SAS. SAS? Is it side angle side? No, sorry. Angle. No, mm, I, it's either side angle side or angle side angle. Um, angle side angle because once you will focus on any one of the triangle just look at any one of the triangle not the both one i'm going to say i'm going to focus on this triangle only only this triangle so the sequence which we are getting from here is angle this angle we have used 
and this common side we have used. Can you see, Arya? Angle, side, angle. The side is just sandwiched in, bet in between both the angles. Yes. So this is no, this is angle side angle criterion. Okay, let's write it. Therefore, triangle ABD and triangle CDB both are congruent by angle side angle criteria. Again, the name of the triangle must be proper. We can see B over here, D over here. B and D we have written same place. D over here, B over there. D and B we have written. B, D, B, D, B, D, B, D we have written same place. What we wanted to prove from here, we wanted to prove that opposite sides are same. That means A, B side is equals to C, D. A, B, side A, B and side C, D are of same length and side A, D and side B, C are of same length. So from here, from our congruency concept only, we can say A, B, and C, D are same. And A, D and B, C side are same by C, P, C, T. That means corresponding part of congruent triangle. Let's summarize this concept. So it was given that in a parallelogram, opposite sides are equal. So as I said, one of the quality that is opposite side are of same length that we have to prove here. How? By using other qualities of parallelogram. Which other quality you are going to use over yeah. here? Any of the quality which you think that will help you, you can use over here. So since it's a parallelogram, the basic criteria is opposite side has to be parallel with each other that we have taken. We have proved the congruency and we have shown that opposite sides are of same length. In the previous theorem, what we have done? In the previous theorem, it was written that diagonal of a parallelogram divided in two congruent triangles. So we have drawn one diagonal and we have proved that these two triangles are congruent triangle. By using which criteria? By using any criteria of the any quality of the parallelogram, you can prove it. This is one of the method I have taken. That is, I have used the since opposite sides are same. Hence, we were able to prove the congruency. You can also take opposite sides are parallel. Then also you can prove congruency over here. It's up to you which quality of the parallelogram you want to use to prove that that diagonal is dividing in two same triangles. Got it? Yes, ma'am. Let's move ahead. Now it says, the other theorem says, I'm leaving, I'm going to leave this for you. If each pair of opposite side of a quadrilateral is equal, then it's a parallelogram. So we are having a quadrilateral, we are having a quadrilateral where opposite sides are of same length. Here side AB, side CD are of same length and side AD and side BC are of same length. What we have to prove? We have to prove it's a parallelogram. That means we have to prove that opposite sides are equal. Uh, opposite sides are parallel also. Okay, as the name says parallelogram. So first thing first, it, it has to be parallel, right? So opposite sides are equal. Now prove that it's parallel also. That's what the theorem says. Again, with the help of the concept of congruency, we will be able to say by drawing a diagonal, we will be able to say that these two triangles are congruent and hence by CPCT, by CPCT, this angle and this angle will be same, which looks like two lines are there and there is a transversal. And if these two purple angles are same, then 
it is a pair of alternate interior angle and if in a two if two lines are there and if there is a there is a transversal like that and if this angle and this angle is same then we can say this two lines are parallel line Not if you understand the concept yeah what Uh, yeah, uh, can you please repeat? Can you please explain again? Yeah, I'm explaining. So first thing first, it's very simple to prove that this triangle ABD is congruent with triangle CDB, right? Because That's opposite sides are same. Opposite side equal. We will be able to prove that by side 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 congruency. Yes or no? Yes. Yes. Once we are proving that, then can we say that angle A, B, D is equals to angle C, D, B by C, P, C, T? Can we say? Yes. And can we say that angle uh, A, D, B is equals to angle C, B, D, can we say? Again mm. by C, 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 T, that angle B from here is equals to angle D from there. Angle D from here is equals to angle B from there. From where are we getting? From the name of the triangle only we are getting that. Is it clear to everyone? Yes, ma'am. Okay. So this much we can note it, we can list it down by C, P, C, T. Now we have to show that it's a parallelogram. So we are saying there are two lines AB and CD and two lines, these two lines are there and there is a transversal CD, let me write it properly, CD and there is a transversal BD and this is this is what it says that this one says that a b d this angle and this angle are same so if this two angle are same it looks like it's a pair of alternate interior angle if the pair of alternate interior angle is same then a b line must be parallel to line c d okay if you know the concept of par concept of parallel line then you must know that two lines are there and there is a transversal like that. Forget about everything, whatever we have discussed over here. Two lines are there and there is a transversal. Okay. This angle and this angle, let's say this is A. Let me give another name to avoid the confusion. Let's say this is P, Q. Uh, this is R, S. Here we are having O. And here we are having P. Okay. So here angle. Angle TOP. And angle TOP. And angle STO. STO. This two angle. Are alternate interior angle. If these two angle are same. Then PQ is parallel to RS. If these two angles are not same, then uh, still the na name is alternate interior angle. But it will not be same. If PQ is not parallel, is not parallel to RS, then still this, this angle TOP and this angle STO, name of this two angle is alternate interior angle. But that time, if these two lines are not parallel, then these two angles will not be same. So the corresponding angle, alternate interior angle or uh, co-interior angle, whatever you have learned in, the, the, in that lines and angles chapter, that, that chapter says, that concept says that still the name is co-interior angle, is still the name is alternate interior angle, is still the name, name of this angle, name of uh, this angle T and this angle O is corresponding angle. But 
it will be same when this two line are parallel it will not be same when this two lines are not parallel but the name is uh, corresponding angle only so just because i am saying corresponding angle that doesn't mean that it has to be same okay it's this angles are having a name that pair of corresponding angle it will be same once the line pq and rs are same uh, rs are parallel and those corresponding angle will not be same when pq and rs are not parallel getting this concept are you understanding what i am trying to say yes okay so when this two purple angle are same that means pq and rs automatically will be parallel with each other when this two interior angles uh, this uh, alternate interior angles are same if i am saying that this two alternate interior angle are same then automatically one more conclusion is coming out that means pq has to be parallel with rs getting yes similarly here we are saying since this angle abd and cdb both are same i am saying this purple angle and this purple angle is same that means automatically one conclusion will come out that ab must be parallel with cd getting it everyone yes. getting it anyone having any confusion uh, over here no confusion no ma'am okay now the next criteria by cpct we have written this one this one a d b c b d a d b this this glittery part c b d this glittery part this two are same already we have no written it by cpct that means automatically one conclusion is coming out that ad and bc must be parallel with each other getting is it getting clear so from here by cpct we can say ab is parallel to cd why because this two looks like a pair of alternate interior angle in why because we are having one line ab another line cd a transversal is there bd now if this two this two angle are same then the pair of alternate interior angle is same and hence this line ab and cd must be parallel with each other got it yes yeah, so this sentence let me show you because you are going to give subjective paper where you have to write this thing so how you will be writing it let me show you so we will be writing it like this ab and cd are two lines where bd is transversal and angle this one i am going to write over here abd is equals to angle cdb pair of alternate interior angle therefore ab must be parallel to cd clear yes sir similarly we will be writing for the other one so we we will need to write in a same manner that is ad and bc are just two line we don't know whether it's a parallel it's not a parallel just two line and a transversal is there now if alternate interior angles are same then it has to be parallel with each other so are two lines where bd is transversal and here angle adb 
is equals to angle CBD, which looks like alternate interior angle. Therefore, AD must be parallel to BC. Now, what was given in the question? Let's get, get back to the theorem. It was given that each pair of opposite side of quadrilateral is equal, then it's a parallelogram. Each pair of opposite side equal, we have proved the congruency. We have proved the two triangles are congruent by side, 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 very simple criteria. And then we can say corresponding angle will also be same. We have written down the corresponding angle. On the basis of the corresponding angle, we are saying that since it looks like alternate interior angle, hence parallel condition, and we are done. It's a parallelogram, right? Um, Sides are parallel with each other. Uh, for the SSS, uh, congruence, it's gonna be because, uh, like you know, BD is common and also because of CPCT, right? Yeah, also by CPCT. Okay, thank you. Yeah, welcome. So, yeah, this is what we have to do over here. Let's see the next theorem. If anyone feeling any doubt over here, please tell me. I'll take a pause and we'll try to clear it. Okay. Now the next theorem says in a parallelogram, opposite angles are same. Last day, Arya, you was asking that why opposite angles are equal. I said to you, we will be proving it in a bit and it will, it's a process. So here you can see we have to prove that opposite angles are equal. So we will be having a parallelogram ABCD. Now what I said to you, use any quality of parallelogram few qualities you are having, the list of qualities you are having, that list of qualities from there, you can use any quality to prove that, that opposite angles are equal. That means angle A and angle C are equal. Similarly, angle B is equals to angle D. That's what we need to prove over here. Now, if you will recall just the previous theorem, like uh, we can say since it's a parallelogram, since it's a parallelogram. So let's focus on rather than thinking about any other criteria of parallelogram, the basic criteria of parallelogram says opposite sides are parallel and equal. So let's see whether that will help us or not. So opposite sides are parallel and equal. That means AB is parallel to CD and AB is equals to CD. This quality we know since it's a parallelogram. We also know that AD is parallel to BC and AD is equals to BC. That quality also we know. Now we have to check whether this quality of the parallelogram is going to help us to prove that opposite angles are same or not. Yes, it will help us to prove that opposite angles are same. What you can do over here, you can draw one of the diagonal, try to understand and listen to me carefully, okay? Here you can draw a diagonal. You can say since AB is parallel to CD, this is one of the way of doing it. Maybe in your school you are seeing that another way of doing it. Whatever suits you, whatever you feel that is uh, easier for you, it's convenient for you, you use that quality to prove it. Okay? So here if we will be drawing one of the diagonal let's say bd then we can say ab is parallel to cd then we can take alternate interior angle by ourselves this time we can take by ourselves because we have taken that we have taken the condition that it's a parallelogram so opposite sides are parallel and equal so either we will be using the parallel condition or we will be using the equal condition or we will be using both the condition simultaneously. Let's see that. So these two angles are alternate interior angle. It is equal since we are using the parallel condition. So that means angle ABD is equals to angle CDB. From where I am writing it down, alternate interior angle since I am using the parallel condition. 
All right. Now, similarly, we can say that since and AD is parallel to BC, one more angle we can take as a like other pair of alternate interior angle we can take as the same, right? So, what we can take? We can take angle ADB is equals to this purple angle is equals to this purple angle. Why? Because this line, this purple line and this purple line both are parallel. Okay? And this is the transversal. So, angle ADB is equals to angle CBD. Angle CBD. Again, alternate interior angle. Now, if we will add equation 1 and equation 2, then we will end up getting this total angle and that total angle is same. Are you getting it? Yes, ma'am. So, ABD and let me check. Okay, we need to change the side here. We have to be slightly careful while writing the names, okay? Because I want to add, why we are doing so? I want to add. So I want to add this angle, this yellow angle and this yellow angle. This two we have to add, okay? So ADB and BDC or CDB, this two we have to add them to get it same just a moment no let me check a b d and a d c no this this uh, the second one i am going to write it in this manner angle c b d is equals to angle a, D, B. Okay, I have just changed the side. Why? Because I felt that adding this two will help us and adding this two will help us. Yes or no? Are you getting it? Yes, sir. This two, once you are like, you must add left hand side with left hand side, right hand side with right hand side. That is the rule of adding. But you must write it carefully so that Adding this yellow angle and that yellow angle will give you the total angle D. Okay. Adding this, this red angle and this red angle will give you the total angle B. Then only we will be able to say that this uh, opposite angle of a parallelogram are same. So here I have not done anything, any changes I have not done. Please be careful if you are getting confused. I have just taken this parallel side, this one and this one. I have taken this as a transversal. I have used this angle and this angle. I am saying it same. That is angle A, B, D is equals to angle C, D, B. Okay. Now for the other case, again, I have taken this two parallel line and I have taken this transversal. And here I am saying, This one is the transversal. This one, the name is AD. The name is BC. Here I am taking this angle and this angle same. First I am writing CBD and then I am writing ADB. Okay. Just writing the sequence properly. So that once we will be adding both the equation 1 plus 2, we will be having angle ABD plus angle CBD is equals to angle CDB plus angle ADB. If you are still confused, I'm drawing the figure for you. Again, the same figure. This one, the name was AB, CD, and this was the diagonal. This was the diagonal. So, keeping the proper side and maintaining the proper side what we are getting a b d c b d a b d this yellow and c b d this yellow can you say this is completely angle b 
Can you see? Yes, mom. And the other one, C D B. C D B. This one plus A D B. This one, this two is once added together is completely angle D, right? And that's what we wanted to prove as the same. Is it clear to everybody how we are doing so? Any confusion? First, we have taken A, B, C, D are parallel. So that angle, alternate interior angle is same. That's it. Then we have taken this two side are also parallel because it's a parallelogram. Side A, D and side B, C are parallel with each other. So again, we are taking alternate interior angle as the same and we are just adding them by keeping the angles in a proper side. If you are not understanding what is the meaning of keeping the angle in a proper side, you do it by yourself. Okay, first do it by yourself. Say A, B and C, D are parallel. Write down the pair of alternate interior angle. Then say A, D and B, C are parallel and write down the pair of alternate interior angle. Just add those two equation and see whether you are getting angle B is equals to angle D or not. If you are not getting, that means any one of the alternate interior angle side, you have to change it. You have to write left hand side thing to right hand side and right hand side thing to left hand side that that change you have to do okay is is it making sense to everybody yes okay so since we have proved that these two opposite angles are same similarly we can say other two opposite angle will also be same and hence, in a parallelogram, pair of opposite angles are of same measurement. Similarly, angle A will also be angle uh, is, is will be equals to angle C. We don't have to prove that. Similarly, we can write that. Okay. Clear? How we will be proving this one? Just by drawing the another diagonal. We don't have to prove it. We can write it directly. Clear to everybody? Anyone yes. want to ask anything? Let me ask from uh, each and everyone. Because here completely we are discussing congruency. So Arya, uh, you already know congruency concept. R is with R is also I have discussed. Yeah, uh, Yatika, Ifra also know the concept of congruency very well. Right, Ifra? Yes, ma'am. Yeah. I have checked your paper, homework, everything. You know it very well. I know that uh, you are getting it. Uh, Yatika, are you getting it? And Zaid, you, are you getting it? Yes, Yatika and Zaid, are you? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Yes, ma Yatika? Yatika, are you yes, understanding? Is it getting clear? Yes. Okay. So yeah, to each and every student, it's clear. Let me write the uh, next theorem and that you are going to do by yourself. Okay. Not only one, two, three theorems I'll be writing on the screen. Note it down quickly. I will be asking it in the class itself. Okay. Whether you have done or not. I believe everybody can see my screen. Let me write the theorems quickly. The next theorem is the converse of the previous theorem. That means opposite, just the opposite of the previous theorem that says that if in a quadrilateral, each pair of no yeah each pair of opposite angles are equal
then it's a parallelogram. Here angles are given as the same and you have to show that it's a parallelogram. After that, please everybody note it down, okay? The diagonal of parallelogram bisect each other. That's it. This two theorem, you have to do it by yourself. And do let me know once you are done with noting the theorem. Normal. After that, we will be solving the questions from the exercise. Okay. Done? Everyone done? No, ma'am. Okay. Take your time and write it. So that's why to prove this theorem or even to solve the question anywhere, not only now, from now and uh, like till the time you will be just having mathematics, anywhere, anytime you can have the, con you can get the concept which will be related to this quadrilaterals. That's why knowing the property, especially for the parallelogram and the basic like trapezium, rectangle, rhombus, and a square is very important. Kite, very often you will not get you can just keep it aside for a while. You know the shape. Properties, you can keep it aside for a while. But these are the quadrilaterals which are very important. So you need to know each and every quadrilaterals property very well. Everybody has noted down this one. Yeah, everybody has done. Can I stop sharing? I'm stopping, okay? Yes. If anybody has not done, please let me.